Like in any such mechanics problem, it's easy to draw a simplified free body diagram where we draw each of the three components, the glider, the pulley, and the hanging mass, ignoring the string separately. We then show the forces acting on each of the three objects. The glider and the mass are moving with uniform acceleration along a straight line. The glider along the x-axis and the mass along the y-axis. The pulley is not moving but is rotating about its center of mass. For the glider, we have that the acceleration in the x-direction is equal to the tension in the string, which is also m1, a1x. The forces in the y-direction are totally balanced. For the mass, we find that the only forces are in the y-direction, and in that case the net acceleration is the difference between the weight and the tension in the string. Which can be solved for the tension in the string to equal m2a2y plus m2g. For the pulley, it's a slightly different story. Since we need to consider the rotation, we actually look at the torque. The torque in string 2 is T2R, in string 1 is minus T1R. Adding those together, we get I, the moment of inertia, times alpha, the angular acceleration.